All right, guys, so this is what happens when you decide you're going to do something interesting for YouTube. How's it going, guys? So welcome to the shop today. We're going to do something a little DIY, uh, some black fluorescent or black light, UV light, whatever you call it, paint for the end of your rods. Um, I'll show you once I get it done and kind of how I'm doing it. But what this will do is, like, I've got a Nebo dock light and... It'll do a UV light, and with this, instead of buying the nice fancy rods that cost $100 plus each to have that black light light them up at night when we're fishing, I'll be able to uh, just use this paint, and that black light will hit this paint and set them off to where you can see the ends, see if you're getting a bite, see where your rods are, yada, yada. But anyway, we're going to get at it, and we'll show you the results at the end. Okay guys, so this is the black light paint that I bought, just picked up at a local craft store. I think it costs three bucks for the bottle. A little arts brush. Now you're gonna want to have something to clean the end of your rods before you paint them and some soapy water rags to clean up any mess you make. But we'll get at it and I'll kind of show you the process of me painting these. All right guys, so a few things I'm noticing. One, it's really hard to kind of get oh, a good even coat. Probably could have sanded the ends of these rods, but I'm not real sure how well this is gonna turn out just yet. So I don't want to sand the end of a rod if I'm just going to peel all the junk off. Um, might take a couple coats, but we're gonna let what I've done so far dry, test out, see how it looks under the black light, and we'll go from there. Turned out all right here. I mean, both of these rods, black light's picking up pretty good. And I'll get some other footage here in a second to adjust the rods. But a couple things I did want to let you know I found out, again, don't remember if I said it before or not, I think that paint, I paid like three bucks for the tube. Uh, you could probably do several dozen rods with it if you're just doing the last couple feet like what I did, probably a dozen or so if you do the whole rod. Your choice. Okay, so one of the things I did notice about it is Rather than using the brush that you see in the time lapse, I actually cut the footage and did another coat and all of that. I used a paper towel and just dabbed it on real light. Now, it's not the smoothest or the most pretty looking finish, but guys, it's sure as heck a lot better than paying $100 for a rod that's got some UV paint on it. Uh, I want to do this to a real high-end rod if you've got it. But if you're on a budget like I am and you're just trying to make do with what you got, you know, this, this is going to be great. So there you can see how those would work since my wife's acting like a fish tugging on the line for us.